So hello and welcome to Grey Goo, a new RTS game by I think it's Terraglyph Gaming. And the people that developed this game are some of the people that worked on the old Command and Conquer series and you'll see a lot of similarities between the, the old Command and Conquer and this game. Although this game clearly is much more upgraded and uh, updated form of that game I would say. Um, I'm going to jump straight into the campaign after a very brief look at what Grey Goo is all about and I'll do a proper review when I've played a few hours on it and uh, kind of know what the game's a bit more about. So basically there is a single player mode as you might expect with a nice campaign, skirmish maps, um, there's a few maps to choose from, a little bit limited, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight maps at the moment, but there is a map editor, so you can build your own maps, and at the moment you can play uh, 1v1 or 2v2s. Um, there's also a multiplayer as well, in which you can play 1v1s or 2v2s, and there's a ladder and all that stuff as well. There's a leaderboard, as you might expect, and in the options there's a whole bunch of gameplay options, all the usual stuff, uh, your mouse options, um, quite a lot of them actually. You've got video options and advanced video options, audio, you can change pretty much everything, and the hotkeys, well, well, there's a huge number of different hotkeys. Again, I'm not going to go through it all in detail, I'll do that when I do a proper review, when I've played a few hours in the game. There's also an encyclopedia which tells you all about the uh, units in the game and the gameplay. So there's a nice tutorial system actually that I've already run through myself. There's a little bit on the game mechanics and how the game mechanics work, basic controls of the game. And then there's a little section on each of the three factions. There are three factions, Beta, Human and Goo. Um, the Beta is a kind of versatile base building type of faction and uses hubs that can be placed around the map. The Humans are a kind of defensive type base build completely attached using different structures but all have to be attached together so more of a defensive type of faction is the human one and then we have this really unusual faction something I've never seen before in an RTS game the goo uh, after which the game is named these are highly mobile form of kind of matter able to produce units and buildings etc etc from their own kind of form a really really interesting faction so what we're going to do today is just get into the um, campaign and as I say I'll do a proper review later on. So here we are on the campaign map. I've already actually played the first battle, the battle at Hunter's Valley, but I'm going to replay it so that you guys can go all the way from the start of this game if you want to follow this campaign through and we'll hand off to the Battle of Ruxbend at the beginning of the next episode. I'm going to be playing on normal difficulty because I am by no mean an expert by no means an expert in this game just played a few hours done skirmishes watched a few videos and I've read the encyclopedia just to get an idea of what we can do with the units etc and we'll head off and begin our first mission Sakurata? Sakurataba? Sakuratusa? Chatrakir dasat? Tausko da otos? Dradu skal? Ekos? Yulimila! Lukidu libaras! En himo! Yes. 
Sinja. Dato Satan e Alin. Dunque fanni da Eni Suritu. Tu lo fai da Karimedad. Mi ha visto Sinja di Paramali. Passuti Mirak, tu li vadas. Alert! I'm at Hunter's Valley with eight other survivors from the Proving Grounds. No major injuries. Alert. Tharok! I'm glad you're okay. Word of the attack has reached the keep. Some of the settlements of the lowlands can't be reached. Communications are a mess. Baz Barker is at Magsky and marshalling crews toward your position, but I have yet to get him on the comms. In the meantime, establish a headquarters in Hunter's Valley. Sarok, are we ready for this? Oh, I'm getting a signal from Barker. Stand by. Okay, well, I think I'm ready. Um, I guess we should enter the battlefield then. Baz Barker on comms. Sir, I'm sorry. I had to detonate the catalyst at the proving facility. If this is the silent ones, it was a necessary sacrifice. You made the right choice. I need your focus on the outer fields. We must ensure nothing else breaches the keyhole. Aran Saruk, I'm afraid the loss of the supply yards at the proving grounds has reduced our sky crane capacity in that area. You're going to have limited resources for a while. We'll make do. Let's get this base operational, then we can scout out what came through the keyhole. Okay, so here's our main base. First thing we need to do is get ourselves some resources. So we're going to build ourselves a refinery here Beginning on the edge of our base. And we're going to need Beginning an extractor to uh, get the resources. These are the vents here. You can highlight the um, resources on the mini map at the bottom right hand side by just toggling this little button just beneath where it says tech upgrades and it will show you all the positions of the uh, resources on the map and you can see we're collecting here extractor in the bottom left. Complete. So the extractor is nice and complete. We're going to gradually start getting resources now and we'll get ourselves next a factory so that we can start building some units. You can see how everything costs money to build and the resources go down as we start building stuff and increase as we start getting more resources. The resources are not finite, they are not infinite rather, they are finite. So they will decrease over time until you have no more resources to gather, although they will increase slightly um, um, over time as well. But once you run out, you're off looking for a here. new lot of resources. We need to find room to expand. So we're going to start building some units. Now we can build commandos or stalkers. And I'm going to start off building stalkers. Unit introduction. And you can make the uh, factory continuously build by pressing this auto rebuild units button. The reason I'm choosing stalkers, we can either have stalkers or commandos at the start. If they cost slightly less than twice the amount, but they are more than twice as effective. They've got, um, I think the commandos have got a damage of four and the stalkers have got a damage of 11. The only disadvantage of the stalker is you can't put them on top of walls, but you can put the commandos. But we're not going on walls, Unit we're going ready. hunting. So for the moment, Hostile, we'll just spotted. Pop, spot some units. Check. Clean kill. So we're taking them out nice and easily. So we need to get ourselves a couple of units, then we'll move up a little bit. This is all boarded off here, so they can't come around the sides on this particular map. Um, so we're just going to have to kind of follow the routes of the camp where the campaign sends us. So we'll get ourselves a second stalker before we move out. Unit ready. Unit in production. Tell me where to aim. 
I just need the target. Group, move out. So New direction orders. Confirming your ridge system. here. Give me the word. Now from a ridge, you have the height advantage. Yes. So you can actually shoot down upon your enemies, which is really, really useful. And they can only shoot up upon you if they have line of sight on your units. Unit ready. Unit in production. So we'll get a few more units before we push forward Stalker. Ready. to the left here. So you can have a look at the map, but basically we're going to have to follow around here, go through this thing called brush, which I'll tell you about in a moment around and down and kind of past there and there's some more there's another catalyst pool there as you can see which we might be using later on but we just need a couple more stalkers before we Unit continue ready. advancing Unit forwards introduction. and you can see the catalyst pool gradually decreasing as we're using so you can't you have to keep moving around and you have to keep moving forward you can't just sit in your base forever because you will just run out of resources so we'll just get ourselves a third stalker then we'll head off and do a little bit of advancing you can see most of the units are locked off at Unit the moment ready. they'll be unlocked Unit i expect as the campaign progresses i have i have had a go with them in the skirmish mode though stalker awaiting instruction so we'll move forward a little bit some units Group. here to attack the enemy forces are retreating they may be hiding in that brush Group attack. Confirmation. Check. We'll coordinate fire. Let's run and them this down. This is the brush here. Yeah, there's a go. unit in there. You can see. On target. Assist. Unit Check. Ready. So you're kind of in stealth mode unit in a in brush. Production. So if we're in brush, though their units cannot see us unless they have units in the brush as well. And we cannot see into the brush unless we have units in the brush. The brush is kind of like thick kind of foliage, trees, whatever Stalker, you want to call it. So we'll go and kill this down. thing. And then we'll aim to get our very rest of our nice. units coming up over into this brush now. Stalker, you have a target. And we'll Stalker, continue probing check. forward. Unit so you can see ready. our primary objective here is Unit to street, seek and destroy the enemy base. These things are just not anything. They're just kind of Tell me for way. aesthetics purposes. As are these animals. I just need a target. All units. This site is perfect for an expansion base. For the keep. Confirming assist. Group. Move out. Focus fire. Target. Unit ready. Unit in production. Check out these daggers. So Give me the, word. the silent the ones are the humans. By a solid plug. We can destroy it to make room for an extractor. Okay, so we've got to destroy this plot. Check. We'll assist. Yeah, so the humans are, aren't very human-like, in fact. The beta seem more human-like than what the humans had yeah, evolved it. into, in fact. New direction orders. I'll be stalking. Unit ready. So we'll unit just move our units production. down here. Oh, there's a flying unit, which we can't target currently because we haven't got anything that can target flying units, although that thing hasn't got any armaments. A monitor. So it hasn't got any armaments. It's just kind of a recon unit. So we need to build ourselves a little hub and from our hub we can build other units. So we can rotate it I think by pressing the left mouse and that's it like that. We'll have it going in that direction. So build Unit ourselves a hub Beginning and construction. on that hub we're going to build ourselves another extractor, another refinery my apologies. Beginning construction. Ah, oh, we need line of sight in order to build yeah, yes. we'll put one of these guys right. over here. You have to have a line of sight on stuff to do anything, so we're going to need a line of sight there to build and get 13 more resources per second. Unit ready. So we've got Unit our factory down here continually producing small units. Small hubs complete. And we're going to produce another factory on this small hub. Small hubs, you can attack two things to the small hubs. The hubs we'll produce your power. With the extra resources from that refinery, we can increase our production. Yeah, the hubs produce you, uh, you your power. You can see they're bringing more units Unit up ready. along that path. Unit in production. Extractor complete. So, once we get Stalker. this... Ready. 
factory up and running we can get ourselves more Unit units and this effect. time i think i will produce factory these because we complete. think it's, so you can see Unit what they're in like. production. That one. so we'll continue to produce these commandos out of here i think and we'll move forwards into this brush here stalker awaiting instruct that seems see to be an unarmed air scout but there may be other aircraft around we'll need to avoid them for now until we can find some tech oh. attachments. So there's some units in here. Stalker, taking damage. Stalker, that commando. Ready to run them down. We can take out their wall, hopefully. Keep them units coming in. Unit oh, we've ready. got some more units here. Unit introduction. So we just need to readjust slightly. Get our building to Unit send our attack. units probably over to this brush here now. Unit introduction. Stalker, take out the walls. Unit ready. Unit in production. The beta can produce walls as well if we want later on in the campaign. I expect we can certainly do it in stalker mode now. And it looks like the humans have got walls as well. Unit ready. Unit in production. Unit ready. Unit under attack. Very nice. I'm in trouble. Stalker, check. So that's the hidden wall down. With the Every human wall, they right can like behind. sit behind unit it and ready. be cloaked against your unit units. So they can shoot through their walls, but you, I don't think we can shoot through their walls. I thought that's what I remember unit from like an old outpost. Encyclopedia. So we've come across the new structures here. This is a, some damaged buildings and stuff. There's a beta wall there that's been just got attacked. Unit ready. Unit in production. <coughs> Excuse me. So we need to just get Tell around and deal with whatever's attacking this our wall has here. A tank tech attachment. If we construct a factory here, we'll be able to get some predators on the field. Okay. Wall destroyed. Coordinate fire. Confirming assist. Taking fire. Take out these Point units here. Target down. We'll need to repair these structures. If we're attacked again, they won't last long like this. Okay, so we can repair these Unit structures ready. here. Repair Repairing. that. We can repair that. Unit we can repair all these things. Repairing. If we've got enough Unit ready. stuff. Unit and also, we can put Commander these guys, ready. the commandos, upon in, these wall out. structures. Guns ready. Shoot down upon the Let's enemy. Make it quick. Here to assist. Stick one over here as well. Unit ready. Unit in production. That should do it. Now we've got a secondary thing, a predator using the large hub. Build a predator using the large hub. So we're going to need another factory attached to the large hub. Constructed. Unit ready. We've got a tank attached. Unit in production. Unit ready. We can also build an air attachment to here so we can start building some air Unit units. The large hob has one, two, three, four, five, Work six stick. different ports where you can attach things. Unit ready. Unit we can move these up a little bit. Unit under attack. Factory complete. So we can start building some Unit predators. Ready. Predators are very powerful yeah, land control. units like tanks. Not so we'll today. Continuously produce our predators from where? From the factory. Unit under attack. Unit ready. Unit in production. We can also destroy buildings Air as well. You get half of the money back. We'll destroy that. We don't need that. So we'll get some predators before we move on. Unit ready. Should still Unit be getting uh, Unit units ready. from our other places. You can see this Unit resource pile attack. here of catalyst is soon to be run out so that will stop producing units quite soon when that runs out this one oh we've got a unit there give me the word those oh. predators should make short work of the enemy units we've seen so far a whole bunch of units unit there we can ready. bring in unit under attack I thought trying I'd to hold it together I unit I'd reset ready. this but obviously I didn't. unit in production predator reporting 
predators now. Just need a few more. Is that an artillery piece? Unit yeah. Ready. The artillery piece is. In production. You need to get Unit close to. Attack. You need to have line of sight. We need to get rid of these artillery. That's it. I think is that the artillery piece? Predators on the hunt. I think stopped. it is. How it's a yeah, clearly a how it's a clearly an artillery Unit piece. Ready. We'll move up into this brush Unit actually. Introduction. We've also got an Unit air ready. attachment now, so Unit what we want is uh, a cloud burst. One attack. of these things, a cloud burst, they like anti air Stalker units and computer airplanes, uh, aircraft. Air Stalker unit. Down. Come across some more enemy here. Let's get ourselves right into this brush under cover. Let's take out any enemy Unit that come down here. If we can build anything else. Unit ready. Unit in production. Tech upgrades are not unlocked yet. They can kind of be used to specialise Unit units. Unit under attack. Predators go. Will we move? Unit we ready. Units all set Unit up to in here production. now. Still getting sent to that Unit brush. ready. Unit in production. Unit under attack. Unit ready. Unit in production. Unit ready. Okay, get ourselves a few more units before we push forward another little bit to find their base. Have we got a cloud burst yet? Oh, we're Unit gonna get a cloud ready. burst now. Unit in so production. here's our cloud burst. And you can see it straight away starts shooting at that air unit and can fire on the move unit as well, which ready. is great. I think the predators can fire on the move as well. I love units that can fire on the move. So we'll start edging it's forward. Unit under attack. Unit ready. Unit in production. Gearing the field, covering you. These are sentinels. The humans have got sentinels. They can attach them to their base to defend their base. So we need to take that out. We'll just take their units out before we attack their... Now if we take out these conduits, then... I'll just show you. Take out that conduit there. Then that stops all production at this refinery. So we'll just destroy this factory to stop them producing the units. That sentinel as well. Attack their refinery. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I need out. Unit under attack. Sentinel what down. Taking fire. Unit Get rid of these two factories, and there's no more units. Unit ready. Unit in production. Unit under attack. I'm getting hit. Unit ready. Unit in production. Unit ready. Unit under attack. Ready for more. Stalker needs assistance. Ready. Unit in production. Unit under attack. Get that sentinel down. Unit They're ready. a pain in the ass, those things. Finish this factory off. Tell me where to go. Finish this factory off here. It's right, mystery. Unit ready. Unit in production. Fire and they destroy the core. Basically destroy all their structures and it's GG. Unit 
production. There we go. Oh, there's still a refinery to destroy and Ready. a little silo. Ready. Go ahead. If you destroy the refinery, the extractor disappears anyway. There we go. Operation success. We were ambushed. There must be more of the Silent Ones. So it would seem. There are reports of landing craft throughout the region. They'll attack our settlements, won't they? They will. I'm ordering an evacuation. I need you to buy us time and hunt down those landers. So here's your stats at the end of the battle and we'll continue with the next battle in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed it guys. Please do comment, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of Grey Goo and I'll see you next time.